Yo, welcome back to High Ground. Another comic episode. Yes, yes. So this is uh this is something new for us. Uh we felt the comics needed a lot of love. Uh there has been, you know, there's been zero point, there's been foundation and it hit it started off with Nexus War, which you probably seen that episode already. If you haven't, you can find it on the description below. But uh yeah, we want to dig deep into the comics and just let y'all know how much great stuff is in here that's connecting to the actual game storyline and lore as well. Yep. And we're not reading every page, so you no. need to go out and read these comics. Yeah. Go yeah. read them. What we're doing is we're going to like look at some of the big details that people yeah. may have just read over and didn't pay attention to. And we're just trying to figure out what's yeah. missing, what's hidden, what should we be paying attention to. And long story short, Zero Point has a lot of it. So, yeah, yeah let's get into it. And this. I, I still haven't figured out some of it, but... <laughs> yeah. Um, it's a lot. Yeah, it is a lot. Some of the stuff I had to look up... So, like yeah. so on like the first page so mm -hmm. like whenever like something big happens like the rift pops up on the first page and mm -hmm. you see rifts in game all the time yeah and so this one was like uh, it popped up and uh batman is talking to um gordon and he's yeah. just describing it he said it's a it looks like it's tearing at reality itself and that mm -hmm. it has um like readings of and now i'm gonna say this completely wrong yeah uh, uh, tachyons and yeah. Rydenburg matter so mm -hmm. i actually looked those up mm -hmm. like i had to google yeah. them and like a lot of them are theor both of those are theoretical yeah and yeah. um i think it's tachyons is what moves faster than light mm. okay. it's the only and it's theoretical because nothing moves faster than light yeah basically so like you wouldn't be able to see it because it goes faster yeah. than your eyes perceiving it right which kind of makes sense. I mean, you're a rift into space, right? Right. Um, so I, I, that's just him trying to explain what that rift is. Mm -hmm. um, and, and do you have anything to take so, away from the first part? No, not on the first page. You hit the nail on the head with that one. So this, uh, so getting onto like the second page, like seeing harley quinn pop up the way she has like especially in this one it makes it it's very interesting to say the least because it just shows how much havoc she's gonna you know cause on the island mm -hmm. and how much she's gonna enjoy so it's like a great precursor to like how she's gonna act which we'll find out a lot more you know in the See, I, I i think i think rob really loves the action in these comics like he oh, is yeah. taking it by the story and i'm over here like peeling it back trying to figure out what the hell's going on oh, behind no, the see, scenes see this see for me like i said we'll just give a little insight on this uh four and six to me is that mm -hmm. four and six to me is that i feel like these were like the true build-ups and i'm yeah. looking at them and i read this like three times but i'm like four and six that's gold so yeah yeah go ahead yeah, so when I was looking at this, like I was trying to like figure out who the guy was that um knocked Batman in, because mm -hmm. and like you can see the way like uh, Harley Quinn like you, if you already know, you already know that Harley Quinn knows what's going on because she's mm -hmm. like she stopped and they already went in, and then yeah. like Batman's like you don't know what that is. She goes, no, you don't know what that is. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I mean, obviously, and this sets up the IOs to be the evil bad guys. Mm -hmm. because obviously the io is the ones who worked with her to figure out what this is mm -hmm. um the fact that they're always using villains yep is like a dead giveaway that they're evil um i mean that's pretty much it for, from from that page but you see some like dark figure swing and kick him in mm -hmm. um obviously they wanted batman inside the zero point for whatever yeah. reason we don't we are not supposed to know yet Uh, so, so he pops you, up on the island. Yeah. What do you think about that? So I love the way I love the way he pops up on the island and the, the builds are there. Like that is uh, that is great. And I really what I really love is that how he, you know, when it comes to the way Ruckus pops up, it really gives context to what he's about to go through. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Just that that immediate pop up. Like there, it almost reminds me of like you know like when you going across the map when snipers was like 
truly snipers mm -hmm. and you thinking you good crossing the across the map and then out of nowhere you know you get sniped that's, or something like that it's that's that why true everyone's ambush. jumping like a bunny rabbit yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah so i really i really like that aspect and then obviously like you brought up in a previous episode he realizes that he can't talk you know off rip so it seems like it processed for him a little bit faster than in nexus war with thor which you know you kind of connected to thor being a god so yeah what what I did notice is, um, which we haven't seen in, at all in the comic book, yeah, is the battle bus. Mm -hmm. We know nothing about the battle bus. Mm -hmm. Is that just an in game thing? Mm -hmm. You know, we don't mm -hmm. we don't know because here he just appears on the island and it's mm -hmm. already started. The loop is already started, but he's just appeared there. So I think that is for strictly the loopers, but which and technically we still would have seen him once Wait, he died. Maybe not and, the loopers. Yeah. Maybe the battle bus is for the IO agents who aren't in the loop. Possibly, yeah. Because what I'll, what we'll find out later in some of these comics thing, yeah. is that um, not all the contestants on the island mm -hmm. are actual prisoners, right? Right. I don't. I don't believe anyway. Right. Yeah. Because that. That's definitely. What is that? Uh, I think it's issue four when we can connect that one. Uh, connect to that for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we see a ruckus attack him. So this one's gonna be a little bit longer. The Nexus War is already this. This comic is long. Yeah. This is a real yeah. comic. You know, the Nexus War is like four or five pages. Mm hmm. But I mean, yeah. Batman realizes that he can fight. He knows how to fight, but he doesn't know who he is. Um, I see your sniper, your sniper quote yep. there. Yeah, yeah. Then, you know, on the next page after that, um, like I like I said before, I just love seeing them trying to process who these people are and like who, like just because and who they are. Yeah, who they, who they are. Up. Like this is this is a this is great because you immediately have to go into action you have to respond like, i wonder they're if, not holding back i wonder if in zero war we'll mm -hmm. we'll have like loopers or it'll mm -hmm. be all main story right like this might be the only time we see people try to escape the loop where we get that explanation of what the yeah. loop is um there was something that they bolded in here oh he goes is this some kind of prison and they bolded prison mm -hmm. and then he says unlikely we've both got weapons and then they bold training ground yeah and I always think that's interesting. Like, what is the purpose of the island? Right. Besides the fact that the zero points there, mm -hmm. why is Imagine Order always putting all these people in here? Yeah, yeah. That that's that was what I was thinking about in the aspect of like, what is because once we we'll find out later in some other issues as well, is that they've been in so many matches that they 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 are on a whole nother level even before like you know they were already in certain instances great fighters when they came into the you know into the island but mm -hmm. now they've had so many fights over and over again that it's made them even more elite so what's the what's the reason of the consistent looping what information are they trying are is the io trying to gain and for what true Cause, reason yeah because i don't think the zero point creates loops on purpose I right. think they're using it's, the yeah. zero points power to do this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think they use the zero points power to create the storm. Yeah. And that theory gets, um, it has a little bit of uh, supporting evidence later in the comic, either this one or the next one. Yeah. Um, I mean, all the fights, were, like just recognizing all the skins was so much fun. Yes. Just going through it. Cause there's so many skins in the back in the background as well like you just have to really look at him and, and he does you know, say just, and he, he does he does say that um some of the people cannot be human so mm -hmm. like tomato head in them they're yes. not just people wearing costumes mm -hmm. like you might think right these mm -hmm. are actually different beings they're not humans yeah um then he finds catwoman and she's Which a badass a great... first of all before we continue on shout out to the artwork in zero point the artwork is absolutely beautiful like they really captured the 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 feel of fortnite 
into the book. Like, I really and, do feel that in way. A, in a more violent way, too. Yes. Yeah. So they took, like, Fortnite and they, like, really, like, got the graphs, like, the idea behind mm-hmm. it, right? Yeah. And then just, like, with Batman having, like, the the old school Batman suit on in this shot, like, the, uh, well, what page are, I'm on a page after Tomato Head, which we'll, we'll have all this on the screen, by the way, y'all. When they get into action, this this shot right here, yeah, 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 this like that old school Batman shot with the cape flowing and uh, you know this yeah, this is a masterpiece right here <laughs> for sure. And and you do and what I also like about it is as you read through the comic, if you notice their costumes change in every change. issue yep. as they keep battling. Like Catwoman mm-hmm. just keeps losing more and more of her clothes. Batman mm-hmm. loses like his arm sleeve and he starts building upon it. Yep. Which is which is pretty which is pretty epic, and we do see this crazy scene here with Midas being yes. kicked in the face and dripped in the headlock. <laughs> oh yeah, with dripped yeah. in the headlock, that's crazy. And then they uh, and then they kind of die together. Yeah, and they really did good with you know capturing how the storm closes. I think mm-hmm. they did a great job with that. Oh yeah, and they do that great throughout the entire zero point. Yeah. So, like, I don't think even in Zero War, we're going to find out the secrets mm-hmm. of the Zero Point. Because mm-hmm. right now we're still trying to figure out the secrets of the Imagined Order. Right. And I right. think they're just a pawn, or they're just mm-hmm. using this incredibly, like, as in the Nexus War, as you yeah. said, this, like, infinite power mm-hmm. to control this. Um, Be- because was this comic? Diff- Go ahead. Because, because what's different with this is, like, you know... They enter the island, right? This is going to be zero shards. That there, so there is going to be a chase for the zero shard. This is going to be slightly different, maybe majorly different than what we've seen before. You know where this where this piece breaks off in a different universe, in a Marvel universe, and now they're they you know their teams teaming up to go hunt for the zero shard. So. I cannot wait to read that one. Now, I do, I do want to say, so I was looking at, I forgot, this is really early in the comic. I'll throw it up here on the screen. Um, Batman says, uh, when he's talking about the storm, yeah, he says, um, it's still raging, but it stopped moving. He said, nothing natural behaves that way. For the storm to yeah. keep raging, but then to just stop. Stop, yeah. He goes, the only thing worse than the thought that it, that it um, of this like com- incredibly strong storm the only yeah. like worst thought is that it's being controlled yeah. and what level of power does it take to control some kind of storm like that right. so to make it start and stop mm-hmm. again mm-hmm. they're like talking about the power of the zero point and how mm-hmm. like what kind of power source is this because this the the utter shock of you know galactus and nexus war and thor and now Batman, they've seen so much. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. They've seen so much. And for them and for Batman to be one of the best detectives in this is just absolutely showing that this is dangerous all across the board. This is dangerous. The messing around with it, bothering it, you know, trying to control it. All of this could lead to a lot of disaster and it has before. So if you guys haven't read Zero Point Number Two, you have to, but you have to pay attention to our next video because yes. zero point number three yeah. is there's some really weird things going on behind mm-hmm. the pages and I don't mm-hmm. know them. And I want you guys to help us figure it out. Yeah. If you haven't, please like and subscribe. Um, yes. And I guess we'll see you guys next time. Yeah, we'll have a name soon, but appreciate y'all. <laughs> <laughs>